When the Boston Pops entertain the crowd on the Esplanade on July 4th, 2022, one musician's violin came from just across town. Inside the North Bennett Street School in Boston's North End, the sound of scraping fills the workspace for the violin making and repair program. About a dozen students are here, including Elliot Smith. Until getting into that world, you don't really know how in-depth it is. Smith is in the third and final year of the program and made the violin pops musician Sasha Callahan played on the fourth. The good sounding arch has to have that fairly flat surface here. Department head Roman Barnes has taught here since 2004. He says hearing the sounds of a student's handmade instrument for the first time is special when their first violin is being played can be very emotional. It is it's very, very touching. Barnes began learning violin making at the age of 15 in his native Poland. He now shares his years of experience in instrument construction and restoration with his students. He says making a violin by hand makes a difference. The violin is a complex system and because each piece of wood can vary a little bit, we can make small adjustments. Students embrace the delicate work. I really like carving F-holes. They're really fun. They're also high stakes. There's not a whole lot of room for error. We were just talking out the second turn. Emmeline Wynn came to Boston from Virginia specifically for this program. I got really into dollhouse furniture making during quarantine and I was discussing that with a luthier getting a bow rehaired and um, he was telling me about the different schools there are. I applied like the same day that I talked to him. Nguyen has played violin most of her life but says making an instrument is an entirely different experience. Most players are pretty scared to even touch their bridge or move it. Not really much advantage you get from being a player besides having prior experience with the anatomy of an instrument and having the ear training. Barnes says even for experienced instrument makers, building a violin takes time. We start from just a basically slab of wood and to carve everything or, or plane or bend for many, it's a surprising amount of time. So good violin, it can take two months to make. The only sign that music awaits in this barn in Billerica is a bass resting against a tree. Inside the barn, dozens of instruments, some hundreds of years old. All these bases are like people and they all have their own story. Volker Narman is writing a chapter in the stories of those instruments as owner of Narman Bass, where he rents, sells, and repairs basses. <laughs> It's a specialty store for upright bass players that are really underserved by the violin community because violin shops really don't have the space and tools for basses. I mean, a clamp for a violin is this big, a clamp for a bass is this long. On the first floor in his workshop, Norman is often working on multiple instruments at the same time, touching up varnish or repairing cracks. As you can imagine, basses are large and cumbersome and people bang into stuff with them all the time, whether that be self-closing doors or car or whatever, you slip on the eyes, anything. Norman grew up in Germany, where he learned to play bass and make instruments. A scholarship from Berklee College of Music brought him to Boston as a young adult. He spent years touring with bands, but he didn't want to be on the road all the time when he and his wife decided to start a family. I was already teaching and playing local gigs, but maybe I could do more of the work for instrument. Any little money that I made, I could buy another bass and then I'd have two for sale. And that was 23 years ago and now I have 200. <laughs> Along the way, Norman has added some unusual instruments to his collection, like this one that came from Texas with a unique repair story. That bass actually was in an apartment fire. The repair person said, I have a cool idea. We could paint the whole bass blue and we could cover up all the charred parts with gold leaf. So to me, it's kind of like a phoenix of a bass. It came out of a fire. You know? He also has a collection of historic basses, including a few made by prominent 19th century New Hampshire luthier Abraham Prescott. Perfectly preserved original three string and you don't see him very often. Norman says he has more old instruments on hand that he hopes to restore so they can be played once again. Basically, I'm living my dream. 
And Norman still plays the bass professionally, including the Symphony New Hampshire, and he also writes and composes mm. for his band, uh, Beyond Borders. And back to the North Bennett Street School, the violin making students there get to keep the violins that they make while they're learning, and if they choose to do so, they can sell them at the end of their time as well, so they can make a little money from it as it's well. very cool. Mm. Coming up, inspiring a new generation of musicians.